ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी व्हाट इज देयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन मोनोक्रोमेटिक लाइट ऑफ वेवलेंथ लैम्डा इज इंसिडेंट ऑन टू स्लिट्स एस वन एंड एस टू एन इंटरफेरेंस पैटर्न इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन द स्क्रीन फाइन ओ इज इक्वी डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम एस वन एंड एस टू सो दिस इज देंट्रल पॉइंट अ ब्राइट फ्रिंज इज ऑब्जर्व एट ओ एंड द डार्क फ्रिंज इज ऑब्जर्व एट एक्स दिस इज गोइंग टू बी डार्क there are two dark fringes between o and x so there are two more dark fringes so it's like uh, they should be equidistant so it is the first dark second dark and then the third dark what is the path difference between the light arriving at x from the two slits so you are supposed to find the path difference here between these two points fine so how are we going to do this so my dear students uh, in regards to path difference there are uh, there are a couple of formulas first of all uh, i'm going to explain you a bit here so constructive interference as well as destructive interference please be with me uh, try to take those uh, these formulas it will be highly beneficial for you for constructive interference the condition on the path difference i just write it as delta x path difference is n lambda where n is an element of 1 2 3 and all up to infinity when n is equal to 0 it is known as central bright fringe n is also equal to 0 for central bright fringe but i have created a different category for this because if you want the first bright in this formula you will substitute n is equal to 1 if you want fifth bright fringe you just substitute n is equal to 5 simple and that is why i have deleted the zero out of here so if you want theta theta is the angle from the midpoint here so if you're talking about like the dark or the bright and whatever like we want to talk about this theta in the case of dark i would be giving you but for the bright fringes this comes out to be equal to n lambda by small d and small d is the distance between the two slits now the third thing is position position is taken as y like this distance i'm taking as y and in many of the questions in ib examinations they have also chosen this as y only so this comes out to be this and it is now multiplied by capital d so this is capital d capital d is the distance between the screen and the slits so these are the three formulas related with constructive interference and i believe things should be very clear no doubt about it and there is no confusion here like for fifth bright fringe you just substitute n is equal to 5 okay my dear students so i want you people to see to take the screenshot of this okay because i know i'm going to remove this thing i would be telling you about the destructive interference now uh now let us go for destructive interference first here the delta x comes out to be n minus half into lambda now there is a catch here here again the n is like 1 2 3 and it goes like this now the problem here is that in your data booklet this formula is not given in data booklet it is given n plus half and many students have asked me this question now that why is that 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 in the data booklet they are writing this as this and you have given the formula n minus half lambda why i am doing so because here in this case there is a confusion here in this case the n should start from 0 and it moves like this and in our case the n is starting from 1 so in our case if you talking about the fifth dark fringe fifth dark fringe simply you substitute n is equal to 5 but here if you're talking about the fifth dark fringe you have to substitute n is equal to 4 not 5 now that's a confusion and this thing is not mentioned in the data booklet the n is also not mentioned in the data booklet they are using n lambda for the bright fringes and for the for bright fringes there is no difference you choose n is equal to 5 for bright fringe but in the case of dark there is a discrepancy what is this like for fifth dark fringe you would be using n is equal to 4 if you want to go with your data booklet if you want to go with me so you would be using this formula and for fifth dark fringe it will be fifth and accordingly all the formulas can be written here like n minus half 
lambda divided by d will be the theta and if you talk about the position lambda capital D divided by small d so similarly you can populate these formulas there so this is what is actually happening here this is what I wanted to point the thing out like this is given in your data booklet there is n plus one so you would be using like one lesser why you could have used that also but why I am saying that because it is confusing even in diffraction there will be the things and we would be highly confused at that time like where the n should be zero where the n should be one that is why I'm giving you this formula that in in uh, destructive interference you choose n minus half now having said that let us move to our question now so this is the y that they want us to find no we want to find the path difference so this comes out to be the third dark fringe okay and as per the path difference is concerned we are having this formula directly and you just substitute the values here so delta x is equal to three minus half into lambda and it is coming out to be five by two lambda and you see thereby you have received the answer if you were using the data booklet you would have substituted this and n would be taken as three by mistake and it will become uh, 7 by 2 lambda so majority of the students would be taking 7 lambda by 2 but the answer should be 5 lambda by 2 let us verify this thing from the data booklet uh, sorry from uh, the mark scheme what is the answer and yes the answer given is C so my dear student this is the proper explanation for this question so please be careful you can use n plus half you can use n minus half but do not get confused okay so this is professor Varun. please subscribe to the youtube channel share the youtube channel with all your friends all the very best bye